Hi friends, Jenny at Clover and Violet here, and today's technique I'm going to be teaching you is how to sew with the salvage edge of your fabric. You can use those pieces that are usually cut off and thrown away to make a unique piece of fabric that you could then put on a sunglasses case or a pouch or a pin cushion or something else fun. So let's get started on sewing with salvages piecing. So I have my pile of salvage edges and they vary in width from about an inch, inch and a half of fabric to a little bit more skinny. I usually cut my salvages a bit larger because if I'm going to use them I want a little bit of the fabric to show. But these are mostly cut off of pieces that were already used for something else. Now if you were just cutting a piece just to cut the salvage off I might cut it closer. So I have a pile of salvages and then I have my backing fabric. So you can use a scrap of fabric or you could use a piece of paper, like a paper template, just like for foundation paper piecing, or you could use a piece of interfacing. Um, any of those will really work. My fabric is cut larger and then I've drawn the size of our sunglasses case on it. I used a disappearing marker but really anything would work because you're not gonna see those lines. I always start with just a piece of fabric at the bottom. Um, and you're just gonna place that on top of your fabric and make sure that it completely covers the line. I'm gonna do mine on the diagonal. In fact, if I want mine to be exactly on the 45 degree angle, I'm just gonna use my ruler and line up this 45 degree angle and draw that on my piece as well. So now I have my 45 degree angle and you can do any angle you want. You could do it in um, a V shape, you know, so it's really whatever you prefer. So I'm just gonna lay this piece on my 45 degree angle. And then I'm just gonna go through these salvage pieces and just choose something else and I'm gonna lay it on top. And then I want my salvage to overlap on both edges of the white. So you can see right there. And then I'm just gonna take this to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew also on both edges of the white. I'm going to use a contrasting thread so that you can see my stitches, but normally I would probably just sew with a white thread. So I'm just going to sew right here along this edge and right along this other edge. All right, let's take that to the sewing machine. All right, so now we have our sewn piece. You can see clearly my sewing lines, and then you can see just a sneaky peek of that other fabric underneath. I like to sew both of these lines because I feel like it makes the fabric more sturdy. Otherwise you just have a larger loose piece of fabric underneath this fabric. Now if you were sewing something with a lot of salvages really close together, it would be fine. But since I like to leave a space for each of my prints to show, I just like to do that extra sewing line. So I'm just gonna trim my piece off. And then you'll notice I don't quite make it to this corner line here or here, but I'm just gonna take my next salvage piece and put it on top, making sure that those lines are covered. So this is gonna cover these just fine and I'm just gonna again stitch right along this edge and then stitch right here to sew my next piece down. So here you can see I have my next piece sewn, tiny bit of that yellow poking through, cut my fabric, and I'm just going to continue up this piece of backing fabric and just keep adding my salvages on um, until I feel like, or until I reach the end. and um, so. When sewing with salvages became really popular, a lot of fabric companies started printing really um, 
cute things on them instead of just circle dots sometimes the dots were a shape or um, something like that and so this is a great way to use those pieces um, so I'm just gonna lay a few of these out and then give you an idea how I'm just gonna take those these pieces over and sew them together all right so now I've sewn this second piece and trimmed it and you can see a little bit of my yellow peeking out so now we know that this is nice and secure in place and I'm just gonna keep working sewing one piece at a time up the um, rest of my fabric to make essentially my own patchwork piece and the reason sewing with salvages is fun is because a lot of the manufacturers recently have started adding cute things to the salvage. Um, I mean, you can see this as spring 2014, so maybe recently is relative. But there's also the dots, the color dots from the fabric. Sometimes they're in a cute little shape. Um, so this is just a cute way to make use of those pieces that might otherwise be cast off. So. I'm just going to work on laying my pieces out and sewing them and then when I have my entire fabric finished I'll be back here and show you. Alright so here we have our finished piece of fabric and then I am just going to trim it down. Now I can sort of see my drawing on the back. Um, you could always draw on both sides or sew it with the lines on the back but what I'm going to do is just line up near-ish my line and trim my piece. All right and then I'm just going to measure my piece to be four inches but when I look at that that four inches is going to come really close to the end of this um, this phrase. So I'm going to cut it from the front at four and a quarter. This will still cover everything. This is going to get a little close, but that should get caught in the seam allowance. So I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter and then turn it around and trim again to four inches. This way you make sure to get everything that you wanted in the, um, this way you make sure to get everything you wanted on your piece there. And then our piece is gonna be seven and a half. So I want all of this word ladybugs to show as much as possible. So I'm going to line up my top line just past that if possible. And then I'm going to trim. And this is a little bit of a raw edge, but this should all get caught in my seam allowance. And since these are salvages, I'm not going to worry about it. But if you want to be more careful, um, I just wanted this to fit and I didn't have a bigger piece of that fabric. And then again, we're just going to turn it and cut it to be seven and a half. All right, and now you have your finished panel. And you're just going to sew with this just like it's regular fabric. And um, it's just a really cute way to keep some of these cute pieces that you've been saving. Maybe it's a specific quilt you have a memory of or project. Um, just a cute way to put them to use. Thanks for watching.